so we're into the rebuilding of this table and these feet that were on here are just well, they worked for a long time but that's all they did they just had they just tapped it on quick so uh i'm kind of surprised by that well it sure held up but they just they're just in there like that uh, okay so amazing well let's uh see about more disassembly for reassembly okay and i'm gonna glue it up good this time i think the best way to do this is one side at a time so we've got these little plugs here i'm going to try to save and we've got these screws down here that looks like they've been changed and i don't know how that that just might be a mortise and tenon there uh of course there's nothing running all the way through it i'm sure so uh if those are strong enough i'm going to leave those be and i don't know how it's attached to the sides here mortise and tenon so i don't know i think i'm just gonna have to <coughs> get the get my hay fever medicine and get a dead blow hammer i think and see what we can do this is going to be interesting at least well i'm making my shop one of these it of course won't be there's my gonna be my hinge <laughs> i need a towel dispenser down here so uh clamp on a roll in use Gorilla Glue in use, not a sponsor. And I uh, just, I had all the particulars here, but okay, well, it's all on the other video if you want to see it. Towel dispenser somewhere. Guess I was a little too too close. All right, didn't use them. I think it'd be fine. Be, well, I'll tell you what I might do. I might stick some on the side here. I think I'll do that. Let's, let's cut these in half and I'll stick them on the side. Guess it might be need to be a little bit more tough than being in the shop here. There's debauchery afoot here. So I'm gonna put that stuff, move that. So I can tell because of the mixture of hardware. These, not, these tapped out pretty easily. I'm gonna focus, thank you. And there's your ancient style. Uh-huh. And then there's a Phillips head, not invented till 1939. So let's put these over here. Need a cup, don't I? That's what I prefer. But I've got a cup right now, so let's uh, let's see how this is together. Where'd I put my dead blow hammer? There it is. Got some clamps ready. So we'll do one side today, one side tomorrow, and we'll see how this is put together and get all this whatever glue somebody put in there trying to trying to do something. Evil doers. Oh, what do you think of that? A little tripod work, huh? Well, there's four different screws here, and uh, they vary, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, none of the four are the same. So uh, I need to remember that this big long one goes in this one over here. Can you see my hand? Okay, yeah, okay. So, whew, what a mess of hardware this is. All right, let me get my dead blow here. We'll see what this thing's made out of. Okay. All right. Ooh. It's moving. Uh, well, let's see if it comes down. I think it's not really made to be taken apart here. That's coming apart there. Oh, there you go. Now that other part I'll stay up. Woo! The gap is ever is ever widening. Okay, that's coming apart there. This is a complicated area down here. It was a mess there. I don't know if I'm gonna get that to work. Okay, so we got dowels in that one. Okay. And I can see that separating down at the base. See that glue somebody gupped in there? 
Hmm, down here, huh? That's a pretty dangerous area. All right, I think I'm gonna kind of let that go there. There's nothing down here. There's no attachment there. So they put this together, then they glued these mortise and tenons in. And did they ever? It's probably hide glue. Horse hire. I may not ever get that apart. So I may have to just settle with getting this apart up here. And then trying to just get some some glue down in there. Okay, let's take a, a note here. So we'll put a little mark right there. Okay, I guess I need to turn the music down. I didn't think about it. Oh, all that turn the music down, stupid stuff. When did you make enough money on that song? Holy cow. Okay, so. Oh, there's a nail in that. And there's a bug carcass that just disintegrated. Oh, well, let's get those nails out of there, too. Okay, fairly obvious the way that goes. Uh, uh, I think I got them in my pocket. Yep, carry them along with me. This looks like another giving it a shot mess right there, doesn't it? Just go right to the trash can. Don't put these down anywhere. Just get rid of them immediately. Oh, that window. It's up there walking around. What is this? Okay, so there's that. And so it came apart here and there. Look at all that nasty old hide glue. So I can get these apart to get some glue in those. Let's see if it comes out this way. That would be nice. Yep. Get a big money shot here. Okay, there you go. And that's what that looks like. Yeah, you can... We can clean this up and get some, some true glue in there and get her back together again. Don't have to wait very long. There's not a hope in anywhere I'm gonna get that apart and that's okay. But, uh... Just set some glue down in there in them cracks and maybe let that set. Well, I can't because I need this to spread out to, to get that back together. I'm going to have to glue this all at one time and then uh, get her back together. So don't be afraid. Whew, what kind of mess is that? It's just old cracked up glue is what it is. Dexterity, baby. This is some nasty stuff here. So uh, I'm gonna just, it's gonna take both hands to get rid of this, get rid of this mess. I want my Gorilla Glue to really get in there and do its work. So, all right. Okay, all right, clean up. This is just, <laughs> just flakes off. Some of, some of it don't. Well, it looks like my little dispenser thing's doing good. I got my hands ready there. All of that's looking fine. Get this stuff on your hands, it'll turn your skin black. All right, so we're gonna leave that alone. We're gonna get back, over. there's gonna be a procedure to this. Uh, so I've gotta get the glue down into these and kind of work it in with a razor blade or something, or uh, maybe I'll get my little screwdriver and drive it in and uh, let the glue seep in there a little bit. I've scraped about all I can without doing any damage. 
So I got to come back and get this together and then this piece in there and I'm just going to just knock it together and clamp her up and we're going to see how this works. Where's my dead blow hammer? There it is. So I'm going to just, you got a little time with this stuff if you don't wet pre-wet the area and uh, I want to do this on the inside and okay so I got to get the glue in there and I got to take it over there and put that other piece in. I think I can put that other piece in here but I don't know. Uh, we'll bring it over here first. So this is gonna this is gonna do real tighten up, man. It's gonna be an Archie Bell project here, and the drills. So the procedure here is I got my screwdriver in there wedging that out a little bit, and I'm gonna just kind of let that sorta go there. And you can you can cut this stuff off later after it foams up and then get some in here uh, I think I better I think I want to work on this first let that you probably close up a little bit and then get your razor blade your disposable used up razor blade and try to work it down in there I just cannot seem to remember to turn that crazy radio down I don't want to get that stuff where I'm going to be rebuilding that Jaguar head in a minute oil filter head all right oh I think that's gonna be good there well you get this stuff it's like it's like honey it's got the viscosity of frozen 20w50 uh, and I've had it there you go okay so I'm gonna need two hands to do this but you got you know just try to work it in there and if you want to do that you can just wipe it on your throwaway cloth there. I guess I could try to push it down in there a little bit with my fingers. I want this thing just to be so solid. Let's go ahead and get get some in there. And it don't take much because it foam foams up. Okay. So we're gonna do that. We're going to do these. Okay, and this uh, glue was so hard to get off, but I figure glue's gonna stick to glue well. Uh, and the other side might be harder because of me doing this side and getting it firm, but we'll, we'll work our way through that at that time. Okay, okay, I gotta keep moving. What was that? Okay, got too many things going at one time. Okay, let's get you out a little bit. I have to do that by pulling the camera back. Okay, let's get you steady cam here. A bit. So I've got uh, glue in most of the joints here. So let's put some in here. I think I'm just going to try to put it in there. Just get a little dollop there and a little dollop there. And a little dollop there. Luckily, it's got all these screws because. Uh, so, you just want to come out. Is it want to come out up here? Of course, it is. All right, don't come out too much. Let's get that in there quick. Catch that glue and push it back up in there. It's going to be messy. All right. I can all right so I've got to pull my noise things down. okay so we got glue everywhere okay all right and I think I put glue in that yeah I'm sure I did feels tighter already we're gonna take it back up again, just for a second, just to make sure I got glue everywhere I want it. Yep, I do. Let's put some more down there, though. Come on, give me. Okay. Doesn't look like it was making contact there, nor does it look like it was making contact there. 
So just dab, little dab, more will do you. Well, it kind of was. Okay. And I'm okay with, let's see if I can get some here. Oh, all the big trucks out there today. So I'm going to do the same thing here I did over there. I'm going to put some there and I'm going to work it in with my finger. I don't recommend that you work it in with your finger. But like I say, don't do as I say, do as I do. <laughs> All right, let's get a little bit more there. All right, back on we go. It's kind of hard to get it exactly right. Come on, get in there. Okay, that one and uh, that one. And that ought to help me down here, and it did. Let's just give them a little. Okay. All right. So. My Randy Dameron special here. Yeah, boy, you talk about a guy I got what he deserved. Okay. All right. Big Al would know who Randy Dameron was. I don't think Big Al's watching my channel much, though. Okay. So let's ooh, squeeze that out nice. Go behind there, because you don't want it running down. It would probably wouldn't do any harm. But, uh, okay. All right. Whew, I'm going to regret that in the morning. Uh, let's put the screws in. I'm going to do that by hand. Okay, we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, that's going to be it for today. These screws are just going to be a really nice assist. That one's not going to be because it ain't, it ain't right. I need one. Ooh, that one's all messed up. Yep. Oh, I think it was this one. Yeah, this one's just a touch longer with a little rounded head. I remember now. Okay, a little bit wider. Okay, yeah, that's it. So the use of the wrong tools and screws makes the use of the correct ones impossible. Okay. So I'm just going to go back in with the ones that came out. And that's it. Okay, just leave that alone. Okay. All right, we'll see about it tomorrow. And it's not close to anything. So I'm going to get my lariat there. So the doors are closed, so I don't have to worry about the wind knocking it over or any of that stuff. Okay. That's going to be tight as a 10 cent top in the morning. Great. Not so hard to do either. All right. See you tomorrow. Oh, well, I like those scotch glue on things that what I'm going to put down here. We'll talk about that when I get it up to the house. Oops. Somebody always calls me. It is the next day. And I have done the other side of this table. And it is rock flipping solid. And it's not even fully cured yet, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean this up and uh, go ahead and attach it. See all that glue? Somebody just poured hot glue in there. I used to work with a guy that he he was tasked with cleaning the bathrooms. He, and he'd just take pine saw and just pour it in the corners. It, it reminds me of him. Just it ain't going to do anything, but uh, you know, in lieu of cleaning. So let's clean this up. Let's get that out of there and uh, get uh, the glue off and get some purple stuff or zip or whatever and attach that to this and by this evening we ought to be fine. I will show you this and that will close this out. Uh, my towel dispenser is, I hung it about 20 minutes ago and uh, there it is and that's just fine and uh, there you go. That one comes right out and that's all I need here. now. I like these towels because they're biodegradable, a lot easier to, to get rid of, and uh, they don't have all that fiber in them that other other uh, uh, towels have. Paper towels have a lot of structure in them that it doesn't biodegrade very easily. 
So uh, anyway, these these for me are better if I'm not just using a cloth. All right, well, let's put this table on together, and then we'll get back to this. And I can clean up here too. That'd be nice. I didn't talk about my cloth hinge. See, I got a shop cloth there. See, and that's all that is. It's just it's it's sort of in there with the screws. Now, generally, you would glue it in the back, but I see no sense in it. Just trying to keep the birds out of it. Don't want to reach in and get a paper towel and find where birds have been there. So anyway, that's uh, that's good enough. Good enough for that. And uh, so I cleaned this over here. Wow, what a mess. I mean, it was filthy. So uh, let's uh, let's let's uh, get our bolt patterns figured out here. And you got to remember, you can only glue to here, and uh, you don't want to glue these because these are the things that hold up the the wings. So let's keep this in mind. Let me scrape around here a little bit more. Hold on, stop that. I'm trying to remember to turn the radio off. Okay, so I got my little horseshoe of glue here. And uh, I'm getting ready to rest it on there. I got one screw broken off, but I don't think that's going to matter anymore with Gorilla Glue on the scene. See the little white dots? That's where I kind of, that was my guiding post there. And I got some rubber bands and tied back those arms. They kept whacking me in the face. So let's set this on there and put uh, most of the screws back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. That ought to be just dandy. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about, I guess I might, I don't think I want to wet this thing. I might do it. I just put these little covers back on there. And I just, all you do, see what Gorilla Glue does to your fingers? Just put a dollop on there. And just put a dollop there. And then put a little bit on the back side of those little covers. And it ought to expand and make them stick. So I've got glue all around the edges. It's all screwed down. And I'm going to worry about... Uh, the Gorilla Glue I can see when and that will call for this or sometimes you can use it depends this is usually better for nail holes and you can buy these in little three packs of different colors but you can also use uh, the blend it for men wax and uh, the, whatever you want to do however you want to do it so it'll probably be, let's see, it's, uh, what time is it now? Oh, no, that ain't right. It's 2 o'clock. It's just after 2. This will probably be, I uh, have to sit there four or five hours. So by tonight, I should be able to wrap this up. So it's time to change gears, as it were, and go uh, work on on the these problems here. Oh, I wanted to look for those different kind of, the old English clamps. I think I got some of those. Well, that's different. <laughs> that's rock solid there. So how close to that do you think I'm going to get? I didn't, I had this on another video. It was scratched. And uh, there was a big pot mark here, like where there was a hot pot or something got burned in a semi-circular fashion. But uh, we're going to try to match that. It looks a lot like shellac. So I'm going to do what's called a spit coat. And kind of get it primed since that stuff's so hard. Spit coat is more or less uh, one coat, one part shellac to uh, uh, four, five, six parts of alcohol. And that's what's in here. And that's what's over there. And I'm going to try to get this done. But I probably will, once I get it done, and uh, let's see, the nature of alcohol fuel. Uh, Mostly, I think used in coal and stuff. Don't don't quote me on that. Uh, so anyway, let's mix some up. Where's that big old brush I had? Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. I th I thinned out in the can here, and here we go. See, it looks pretty good, don't it? Shellac is such a great thing. It is such as just a terrific cover. Just don't spill your martini on it especially if it's shaking and not stirred but just put it out there real thin it had multiple problems uh, 
this piece. It had a funny line across here. And I'll be able to put this in the house tonight. I mean, we'll put the little scotch feet on it. I'm going to let this cure. And then I'll sand it. It's already feeling kind of dry over there. It's kind of draggy. Now you got a little bit of, you can get away with it right here because uh, the, the tops and the bottoms don't, they're not face to face all the time. And in my little house, I would say the odds of me, uh, look at that, that's pretty close. So let that cure, give it a little sanding. Good, that little burnt spot looked like went away. So, when I get it up to the house, I'll change the blades in my utility knife and I'll cut that, that gorilla foam off of there. Okay, we're gonna let that cure. And I'm going to wash out my brush. It's been an hour and I've given it a light sanding with some 400 and let's do our final coat here. I don't see him going much more than, than this because uh, you see it looks a little lighter now but it'll darken up, see? Now that's more like it. Just come off like an airplane taking off of a runway there. Just don't don't drag the brush too hard against the, the back edge and you won't dump any uh, or much. There you go. And I'd recommend that you always sand in between coats. There's nothing there, okay. All right, well, we'll have it up at the house here in a little bit. Now, it's true that the more coats, the more magnification you get. And I do believe that. But I feel like I'm going to lose some of this tiger oak look. So, uh... Okay. Yeah, I think that's going to be fine. And it does, this stuff does kind of darken with age. That's just lovely. Except for that right there. Okay, okay, got it. Oh, no, I didn't. Stop it. <laughs> Now you're gonna go at it the other way so you can do your airplane lift off there. Well, don't you all hope that wrenching with Kenny gets his big production thing going? I do. He's such a practical fellow. And uh, he kind of just runs into the stuff that we run into. And he's very upfront about it. And I dig that. So let's see what that looks like. You don't spit all over it. Okay. Uh, I don't think anybody's gonna complain about that. You, I don't think I wanna put any shellac on that. That'll just darken it. Okay, let's take it up to the house in a few minutes. It's a good thing I emptied this room out because it keeps getting filled up again. It's like the island of Misfit furniture in here. I did not make this. I want to make that clear. No, I want to make something, huh? Okay, so I got. I'm ready to go. I got a new blade, and I've got a little bit of this brown paint, and I got a little paintbrush, and I got this, and I got that stuff. So let's cut this out. Ooh, I can't cut that because it ain't quite ready yet. It's going to probably be tomorrow. That gum it. Well, it's going to have to get harder than that. It's still. When did I do that? I thought I did that. This must be the one I 
Yeah, that must be the one I did the other day. Oh, okay. I thought seven hours was going to be enough, but it's not. So I'm not going to worry about that stuff up there. And uh, this this is working pretty good. And so I don't know what that looks. That looks pretty good in this kind of light. And uh, it's a lot smoother than the leaks, but that's okay. I can believe it. <laughs> okay. Well, I have to wait till tomorrow. Oh, well. I guess I, I'll put the feet on. That'd be something I can do. Let's put this in here. thing here. Dangerous. All right. This can go over here. I was just going to use that as a container to hold paint. But let's get it off this pad. I think that's a good idea. We'll do that. All right. All right. This is not a sponsor. This says if you try to take these things off, it'll mess up. So... Looks like I can use the big ones there, huh? Don't have my, much of an opportunity to do that, so I'm going to put two on each one. So that'll be fun. You never know if you're going to use all the big ones like that. Oh my gosh. All right. So that one is still mushy. And that one's, ooh, that one's crunchy. Okay. Doggone, I want to finish this tonight. Ain't going to happen. These things are wicked sticky. All right, well, let's see here. That goes right there. All right. Let's see how this works out. Let's see if it's even. We'll see what we'll do if it's not even. I think eight of those ought to be enough. Wish I could tell you how heavy this thing is. So what do you think I ought to do to press them on there? That's right, just put it just put it up right. <laughs> okay, so I moved that thing to up there. And I don't know what I'm I might take that to the shop actually. Uh it's a nice lightweight traveling little workstation. So I got the feet on it. I was not defeated. And that thing there is just plain solid. So we'll finish it out tomorrow. I don't feel right not finishing out the trim work. But this is where I'm going to put it. I know there's a air vent there, but nobody lives in here. So those scotch things make it easy to slide this stuff around too. So there's no sun comes in this way. And uh, let's see, what have I got here? I don't want it really hitting the curtains. I got plenty of room. So, uh... I kind of would like to center it at that window, but with those curtains, I can't do that. Don't want to air my dirty laundry there. Okay, so that's where that's going to live. I might just put that table in front of it after I get that work done. So that that is a beautiful thing, in my opinion, and I'd like to, I think, Buzz and Rita for this. Okay, and I just... See, that is just not so horribly different. It's a little different. And I could I could do it right here. I could come up and sand it, put another coat of shellac on it, but I don't think I will. All right. One more segment tomorrow, and we'll be done with it. But let's make sure it's solid here. Yeah. I mean, it, it's got a little bit of something, but it's furniture. It's wood on wood. It's a wood floor. It's a natural wood floor. It's not... I don't believe in that snap-in pergola stuff. That's not for me. So anyway, uh, I dig it. I'm glad to have it. And I'll move stuff up on it tomorrow after it really truly cures. Okay, more later, more. One more, probably like a five minute little segment, maybe three minutes. All right, the final segment on this. I did a little work this morning oh that goes train 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 and this thing is rock solid I, I had to adjust that foot just a little bit down there if you move it around it's fine but right there's a little dip back there in that corner and this is where she's gonna stay but she doesn't move in I mean I'm trying real hard to make this thing move and she's just rock so I got my brown pen and I'm gonna show you what I did now do this with great care and use safety glasses so, because bending these utility 
blades is a very dangerous thing but you can see I bent it and I just used some regular old uh, grandpa slip joints there and I'm going to keep you with me so now it's been more than a day that I've, I've had this going so I'm going to show this and then uh, let's do the one over, uh, this one well I tell you what let's do this one now, of course you if you bend the blade one way it works better in one direction than another so see this makes it flat so this stuff should just crunch out of here it's a little harder than you think so don't don't get carried away and lose your way okay now I'm gonna ch I'm just gonna do a little bit of this because I really need two hands for the control here See that chalk just fell out of there? And that just fell out of there. So all you got to do is get that out of there like that. And just kind of keep keep working at it. If your blade is straight, you'll, you'll kind of make an error. So there you go. Now, not too many people are going to notice this. Now, there's two ways of doing this. There, there you go. And then... Go at it like that. I'm just going to do these two little big pieces right here. There you go. Now, see, most of that's gone. But you now, there's another way you can do this too. I got it right here. I will just get uh, <laughs> I will get a container. Don't matter what it is. Although I do like that stuff. It's not a sponsor. I do I do like that stuff quite a bit. And then you can get a little can of paint and in a very careful manner just spray a little of your uh, furniture color colored paint on a little brush and you can dab it that way I have found that to be useful at times or you can just get your brown sharpie now I want you to watch this you can see and then all you got to do and that will disappear See, it's just, it looks great. And it's not, it doesn't take that long. It's a little tricky. Uh, you might have two utility knives, one bent one way, one bent the other. And you might uh, keep a straight one. You might have three utility knives. I probably have 10 utility knives over, over the years so that I've inherited and so forth. And you see there's something else right there, that little, that little white stuff back there. Well, all you gotta do it's just you just do this and then just kind of wipe it around and that goes away too you can go get in to find into this as you want to there's a scratch right there and you can use WD-40 there or just the pen whatever you want to do the fresher this is the better and uh, I don't think that's got uh, maybe a foot or two on it I did not use that hardly at all doesn't look like I'm gonna need to do this part of this so let's put this up here so I'll put it away so I got some stuff to do. Generally, you can just scrape a lot of this off with your thumbnail and have your AccuVac ready. And uh, that's a, let's see, what is that? See, there's a mark right there. You, you can go on and on and on with this as much as you want to. See, nobody's gonna ever see that. And you don't have to have that waxy pencil thing. Those are good for nail holes. So, uh, there's something white right there for this. Okay, so let's let's fold it up. Now, there's going to be a bunch of the glue up there, but you can't see that. So, you know, I'm going to turn that that way. Good, good thing I didn't glue it. And uh, it is so flipping solid. Okay. Just once again, see, I've already done this here. And you can just do this. And that just goes away and uh, you don't have to undercut your glue so much either and uh, so here's a piece right, right there and just rub it in see what happens is people get something in there and it gets into the grain and it's hard to get it out so you just have to kind of stain over it and uh, this right here will go away cut that the other day so that's a good example of it just going away 
Okay, so let's wrap this thing up. And let's take a look at it from above. It's a bright sunny day. And my room is looking good. And that's what it looks like finished. Perfectly all right. And this room is so little. Uh, I don't think, well, it's little because of a bunch of stuff in it. Old sewing table, the spot pumps and uh, everything else. So once again, this is, this is what I do. I'm gonna take this down. I liked my idea of taking this down uh, to, uh, to the barn as a mobile workstation. I, I kind of thought about that and I said, cool, these are not expensive. And so you can just take that in the shop and you can just haul it around wherever you got a little project and put your tools on it. Don't I put stuff on the floor a lot now. That doesn't bother me, but anyway. I'm not on the Bridge Dictionary. <laughs> I got all kind of old, old junk. So redneck spa's doing fine. A little report out on everything. It's nice in the mornings because got the sun out here. There's the moving blanket I used. The uh, redneck spa. It, uh, what happened there? Oh, I know what happened there. There's the old tub, got the back door open. It's a very pleasant right now, not so windy. So you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, drill glue on it, and subscribe. And uh, I, gotta, I gotta be gone for a couple of days, but I'm gonna get back on the Jaguar. Okay, we'll talk to you later. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. And we'll put this back the way it's gonna stay most all of the time. Now, I don't mind little bits like that. That's kind of character. Now, if it's got a man-made line on it or something, I don't like that so much. So, anyway. All right. That's it. Bye-bye. Oh, well. <laughs>